In this video, I will show you how to add buttons to your Webflow website. Now, this is actually very easy and done within a few minutes. So let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to do is add a specific structure where we can add that button. So we need to add an area where we can add that button. All right. We can do this by navigating to the sidebar of our website. So navigate to the sidebar and then tap on this plus button right there. This allows us to add an element and then we need to choose from structure and then section. So we're going to create a new section. You can always tap on this question mark if you don't know what an ele element is. And then you can read some information about that specific element. All right, then let's tap on section. And now, as you can see, we've added a section. As you can see, we've added this element. Now let's add a container within this section. So when we add a container, we can within that container we can add content like images and in our case buttons right so tap on this plus button again and then add a container as you can see right now we've added a container within this section so that is how you can add structures and now let's create or now let's add a button within this container all right so now we can add a button so again, go to this plus button, go to elements, and then tap on this button right there. Now we've added a button within the container we've just added. As you can see, you can see this in a navigator. You can see it. So section, container, button. Let's close this. And as you can see, the button is added. Now let's change some of the settings of this button. So let's tap on this button, as you can see, and then this menu will pop up. So we can tap on, for example, this email address or this like email address icon. And here we can add an email to this button. So if someone clicks, it will open their preferred email app. And yeah, they can send an email to our email address. So to the email address, you will fin fill in right here. You can also add a subject. So for example, this can be hi there and your own email address. All right, that is how you can add or edit link settings or you know just an email address to this button now let's change the colors but before we are going to change the color of the button we first need to yeah maybe change the position of the button so let's tap on uh, yeah style and then we can go to style selector and then tap on select a class or tag then you can give this um, button a specific tag for example button 2 and this will change the button all right then we can tap on layout and then we can go to flex for example and now we have changed the layout of this uh, button now we've changed the position of this button all right now let's change the color of this button so now let's add a color to this button so go to the right sidebar on your screen and then scroll a bit down all right, here you can see topography, backgrounds and borders, and a lot more information, but we need to focus right now on the section typography. So under typography, you see color, as you can see. So let's just, just tap on color, and here we can select a color we would like. For example, this yellowish color. Right now, the text of this button is yellowish. All right, so now let's tap on this button, and we can change the text. For example, we can change the text to contact us. Now we can go to backgrounds and we can change the background color of this button. For example, change it from blue to grayish, like the background. So now we only see this text, right? Then we can change the border. So we can add a border. We can also make this yellow. We can make the border a bit thicker. And as you can see, now this, yeah, this button has a nice border and when they tap on that button, they will, um, yeah, the, the, the person who taps on this button can send us an email. So that is basically how you can add a button and customize this button. I hope it was helpful. If it was helpful, please subscribe to the channel. And by the way, if you want to get started with Webflow with the best discount available, I will leave, leave a link in the description down below. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.